Hi everyone, this is Rob from the Mishimoto Engineering Facility. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook for more exclusive content. Today we're going to install our baffled oil catch can on your 2014 Plus Fiesta ST. This is a quick job, so you'll be done in no time. Let's get started on the install. Tools for installation include a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, 13 millimeter deep socket, 3 8 drive ratchet, flathead screwdriver, 11 16 wrench, and channel lock pliers. For installations on European models, you will also require an 8 millimeter deep socket, 13 millimeter socket, quarter inch drive ratchet, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Installation time is under 30 minutes, and installation difficulty is a 2 out of 5. Prep the catch can. Install the plastic fittings into the catch can, then tighten them down with an 11 16 wrench. These fittings have tapered threads, so they may not be flush with the can when fully installed. Remove the engine cover. Feel underneath the cover to locate the mounting points, then pull the cover upwards at each mounting point. There are four rubber grommets that secure the engine cover. Locate the PCV hose on the passenger side of the engine. Disconnect the PCV hose from the valve cover and intake manifold by squeezing the knurled tabs on the connector and pulling it off the port. If you are having difficulty squeezing them by hand, use a pair of channel lock pliers to gently squeeze the connector. Use a screwdriver or panel tool to release the tree clip that secures the PCV hose to the engine. Then remove the PCV hose completely. Locate the Mishimoto hose with a 90 degree bend at the free end. This is the hose with two bends. Slip one of the provided worm gear clamps over the free end. Install the fitting side of this hose to the port on the valve cover. Simply push it on until it clicks. Locate the Mishimoto hose with the shallow bend at the free end. This is the hose with one bend. Slip one of the provided worm gear clamps over the free end. Tuck the free end of this hose under the AC line and install the fitting end to the port on the intake manifold. Simply push it on until it clicks. Locate the catch can mounting bracket. The bottom of the bracket mounts to the threaded ends of the upper crash beam bolts, located under the passenger side headlight. Follow the passenger side frame rail until it meets with the crash beam to locate these bolts. Slip the bracket over both bolts and secure it with the supplied 13 mm nylon locking nuts. Lower the catch can into position by passing it between the engine mount and the bracket. Then secure it using the provided 2.5 mm Allen head bolts and plastic washers. If you are having trouble accessing any of the mounting bolts, you can remove the upper coolant line from the expansion tank by squeezing the clip that secures it and pulling it free. If you are still having a hard time, proceed to the installation for Eurospec Fiestas and remove the headlight for easier access. Install the Mishimoto hose with a 90 degree bend to the port marked in on the catch can. This is the hose that comes from the valve cover. Secure the hose with a worm gear clamp. Install the Mishimoto hose with the shallow bend to the port marked out on the catch can. This is the hose that leads to the intake manifold. Secure the hose with a worm gear clamp. Install the engine cover by pressing the grommets over the mounting pegs. If you have a Eurospec Fiesta, you will have to remove the headlight to replace the upper crash beam bolts. Remove the headlights. Each is held in by two bolts and one Phillips head pop clip. Unscrew the Phillips head screw, then remove the pop clip completely. Slide the headlight assembly back towards the cabin, then lift it upwards. There is a tab that secures the rear corner of the headlight. Disconnect the electrical harness from the headlight assembly and remove the headlight completely. Locate the 13 mm bolts that secure the crash beam to the frame. These bolts are too short to install the bracket. Remove the top bolts and replace them with the supplied bolts. Install the catch can bracket by slipping it over the threaded end of the crash beam bolts and securing it with the supplied nylon lock nut. It may be necessary to hold the bolt while tightening the nylon lock nut. Install the Mishimoto hose with a 90 degree bend to the port marked in on the catch can. This is the hose that comes from the valve cover. 
Secure the hose with a worm gear clamp. Install the Mishimoto hose with the shallow bend to the port marked out on the catch can. This is the hose that leads to the intake manifold. Secure the hose with a worm gear clamp. Install the engine cover by pressing the grommets over the mounting pegs. Connect the headlight electrical harness. Now you can reinstall the headlight assembly. Ensure the white headlight mounting clip on the frame rail is oriented correctly to accept the dowel rod on the bottom of the headlight. This clip can rotate in the frame and may have shifted during headlight removal. Take the leading edge of the headlight and slip it under the front bumper cover. Tilt the headlight to slip the tabs on the bottom edge of the headlight under the bumper cover. Then lower the headlight into place. Install the Phillips head pop clip. Insert the lower section of the pop clip, then push the Phillips head screw into the lower section. Install the two flathead bolts that secure the headlight. Now that you have the catch can installed, take a moment to double check your work. Make sure that all the connections are tight and ensure that the catch can is screwed firmly onto the lid. We recommend checking the contents of your catch can every thousand miles until a baseline for oil accumulation is established, as this will be different for every car. Then you're ready to fire up your Fiesta for a test drive. Don't forget to click subscribe before you head out.